So here's what I think actually happened is Bonnie was practicing some sick bowling tricks. He was flinging a bowling ball. It bounced off the wall, hence the crack, hit him right in the face, and then exploded into shrapnel, tearing his in insides apart. And so what happened was there was so much blood that when Monty arrived on the scene, his hair actually wasn't red before that. It's a what it was, uh, Doc, oh, please, anyway, please, please! It's my turn to talk! More like taco, am I right? <laughs> when Monty arrived, his hair wasn't actually red. He slipped and fell in the blood of Bonnie's blood. And he was like, Aah! and he was so freaked out by it. He was, but then he remembered safety first, pl placed all the wet floor signs, not pot pots. Pat, pat. British. So there was so much blood. He was so responsible. He kept it from all of the other members of the bands who would have been devastated because it was performance night. And if it was performance night and they found out that Bonnie died, they never would have been able to do a show. You know, the show must go on. And Monty was a hero. He placed the signs and then placed them throughout the whole thing, leveling up the standard of safety of the entire mega pizza plex. And therefore, he's actually the hero. Bonnie was just clumsy.